And you Bailey, thank you for mentioning me in your video. I was just starting to give up on uh, YouTube, but you mentioning my name brought me back in. Yeah, he did say I was a troll on his. Uh, he thought I was a. He said he thought I was a troll on his edited version. But he's only putting some highlights up of the bits where he done well. Did he beat the shit out of me? Well, three two-minute rounds. Still on my feet, no knockdowns. Um, you don't know because you weren't there. And he had some nice words to say about me afterwards. And I've got a lot of respect for him too. Um, you got okay. You might be six foot and six foot seven thousand centim uh, millimeters tall. But you remember Ben Hatchett put um, what's his name down? Living in London, he's taller than him. You no. Know, Size does not matter unless you know what you're doing with it. And don't get me wrong, if you're six foot seven and, and you're very, very well rounded, skilled fighter, then yeah, you give someone a lot of headaches, probably knock some, put someone to sleep. But, but being big doesn't mean that you're necessarily proper hard. I mean, some of the people I've sparred against, don't forget that was my first exercise in a month I was straight into it so it was a good little warm up for me I spa like that once a week at least sometimes twice you know that was a spa that wasn't even a fight um, and, you know, and, I'm, and I'm happy that he you know he came around he made some content I could have made some better content if I knew he was filming but that's just the way it is that's why the cookie crumbles but um, if you haven't got any real fight experience Andrew Bailey Ben Hatchett would wipe the floor with you 100%. Doesn't matter how big you are. I mean, how big's Mr. Blobby? I don't know. I suppose you can make it as big as you want, depending on how big you want to make Mr. Blobby. He could be eight foot. You know, you push him down, he's just one big marshmallow, isn't he? A bit like you. So, um, yeah, I will be tagging you in this video because I'm talking about you, and you should have tagged me because you're talking about me. Or was, how, was, how would I, unless I actually physically look for your channel, I wouldn't even know you made a video about me. So what's the point in talking about someone and not tagging them when you want them to hear, what, if you want them to hear what you want, want to say? I don't think Ben Hatcher would even bother with you, but, you know, good luck if you do. You might have to, the reason why he called me a troll was because he wasn't picking up my messages. And all I wanted was just to spar with him, just want a bit of training with him because he's out here. And you know, it was near me, so uh, to get his attention, I called him a melt, which was, which he knows towards the end that that was just my way of getting his attention. Because I already sent him a message on Instagram prior, and like I said, thank God um, he didn't take my message on Instagram because I was just recovering from food poisoning at the time, which I've said this a thousand times, so I was even weaker then than I was when I fought him. And he would have he would have wiped the floor with me, and it would have gone on YouTube and or and in TikTok and all over the place. There's nothing I could have done about it. But at the end of the day, you know, he's a he's one of our dark corner YouTube or on the corner YouTube. He's in my back garden. He's going to hang around and wait for me. So it's either now or never. So you know, if you really want to fight someone, then fight them. Unlike you know, waiting six weeks or waiting to New Year, you just go. If you got a problem with someone, you do it. Or even if you just want to. Spar with someone, even the JDP and the other geezer, you know, in the day, like, if you if two men want to fight, it's like, uh, oh, could you imagine, like, if, could you imagine if a man wanted to date a woman, and he said, I need six weeks to get ready before I can come and meet you on a date, do you think she's going to sit around and wait for you, oh, dear, if two men want to fight, why do you need six weeks to get into shape? I mean, if one person wants to do the other one, he must already be in shape. Otherwise, you wouldn't call him out. And the other person who he calls out has got the right to decide whether they want to do it now or never or later. But then if someone's going to turn up anyway, then whether they like it or not, then... Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, this is toward... I mean, if this is toward you, Andrew Bailey. And you mentioned my name... And yeah, I will tag you in this, um, because I'm talking about you. And I tried to get on your live the other day, and you wouldn't let me on. You wouldn't put the link out. It was just a cozy little chat between you and Smokey Boy. You know, uh, 
There is nothing I wouldn't say to you that I wouldn't say to your face. And I would definitely get them, especially now. Now I've got, you know, started to work, get my cardio back up and start getting back into things and, you know, tracing a couple, training a couple of times a week. You now back to my normal self. I, I would, I would, if you, I would, in a second, if you were out there, I wouldn't even, unless I'll just take you my medicine before bed, I'll meet you there and then if you was to uh, message me saying like I'm in a near proximity of it, you want to meet up. Unless I was exhausted, I'd probably I'd do what I did like with Bounder, say, next morning. But, uh, you know, I'm same similar height as him. He's not five foot four. He's at least five foot eight, at least. He's about my height. Um, and I reckon he wiped the floor with you because he knows what he's doing. He knows how to throw his hands. I'd like to see you do a bit of shadow boxing. I can know, I can know a lot from someone just from watching him shadow boxing. I can, not everything, but I can see whether they, they're trained or not. So let's see if you can put your hands where your mouth is. Go on, put your hands up. You know, this is a small glove. My kids use these. You see, out here people fight from the moment they're born. <sighs> That's why we don't talk much. We just do it. Um, there was the only ex messages I exchanged with Ben Hatchett was to arrange the meet, which was the very next day. And like you lot going back and forth for hours and hours and days and weeks and years. So, uh, bosh.